This is Did You Do It? It's 1.30 a.m. August 5th, 2018, and we're at the GoesR.gov website looking at the shortwave window band need to know reference guide. And I'm going to just uh, read a few short words about this because this has just become very important. The shortwave infrared window band on the current GOES imagers has been demonstrated to be useful in many applications, including fog, low cloud identification at night, fire hotspot identification, volcanic eruption and ash detection, and daytime snow and ice detection. Low level atmospheric vector winds can also be estimated using this band. Shortwave infrared window is also useful for studying urban heat islands and clouds. Compared to nighttime, there will be an overall warmer temperatures in this shortwave window band during the day due to additional reflected solar components. Now if you scroll down on this uh, PDF and get these guys talking, let's see what Ward says. Ward says, of all the spectral bands on the GOES-R, ABI band 7 has the greatest bit depth. That is, the number of discrete values is greater than the other bands. The reason for this is that band 7 must be able to sense very cold features, convective cloud tops, and very hot, fe hot features, fires. Okay, let's see what Tim talks about. According to the Planck equation, a band centered in at 3.9 blue um huh, has much more sensitivity to temperature than the band centers near 11 um or whatever thus there are many uses for the 3.9 um whatever often in conjunction with a long wave infrared band okay well interesting i'm gonna show you something let's go to the goes eclipse schedule now during the eclipse season with the Gozar satellite series, stray light contamination is visible approximately 45 minutes before and after satellite local midnight, plus or minus 500 UTC for the Goes East, which is approximately 45 days before and after the vernal and autumnal equinox in the form of a vertical beam of light. I'm going to show you that in a minute, folks. That is more intense at the end, closer to the sun. Stray light is stray light contamination is often prominent in the images of, visi of visible and near infrared bands, bands one through six. Also, it can be discerned in band seven images. This is normal occurrence for the ABI. Okay. Well, here I'm going to show you an example of that because we're entering the autumnal equinox season, and I've got you at the go. Colorado State.edu website. We're at the Himalwari side. And I've got you a natural color. Okay. Set the archived images back to August 3rd at midnight, but uh, I don't think that's really necessary at this point. Because we're on August 4th. Okay. And what I'm about to show you is an example of the beginning of the eclipse season. We're at 1410 UTC, and I'm just going to rock it back and forth. so that's what they're talking about that's the uh, stray light contamination okay I wonder what that looks like in the shortwave window band that represents 1340 if you see there's a dark spot there that's actually when the stray light starts 1340 that's that that's the Sun causing that stray light and that's the stray light signature okay And let's stop it right there for a minute. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a dark spot right at the very top. And I'm trying to associate an actual object with that dark spot. So let's go over to band number six. The cloud particles, let's see. Cloud particle size band. Okay. And we'll go to... Uh, 1450 I think that was let's see if we can uh, see a, an object we've been seeing those moons all around and that's one place we actually saw an object can you see it up there all right there it's 1450 1410 
1450. Now you see the stray light, beam of light? It's over over there. What the hell is it doing over there? I don't know. But anyway, the, uh, okay, the beam of, the object's here, and the beam of light is over here. So let's see, there's the, okay, now let's go back to the short wave for a second. That represents 1450. Now I'm going to move this up a little bit. Watch over in this area. Now we know the shadow is picking up heat now, okay? Watch this. And that was the sun we just saw. That was 1450. 1500, 1510, 1520, 1530, 1540, 1550, 1560, 1600. It's being a little bit slow. 1610 is starting to come back right there. That's heat. 1620, 1630. Look at that. It's a heat signature. And this is a glint of the sun. Thought we just saw the sun up there. Well, let's go see if, if we can associate an object with that. Come back over to band number six. Cloud particle size band. Okay, and we'll go over here. Go to uh, 16, what was that? Look at that. Okay, now this is interesting, folks. 1610. Okay, 1600, there's nothing in the image. 1610, it starts to appear. Now remember in the Himawari, it's got it squared off, blocked off. 1610, 1620, 1630, and it's here and there. 1640, it's still there in two different blocks. 1650, it's in one block. 1700. Okay, so let's go back to the shortwave window band real quick. I'm going to show you that a little bit quicker. I'm going to go all the way back to 1410. Come on out here. All right, they're going to be a bitch. All right, here. See, that's the sun, remember? That's the sun up there. What's that? Another sun? Let's go check this out over here in the uh, fire temperature. Okay, 1400, for, there's the sun, remember? They talked about the eclipse season. Let's go to 1600. And we're going to see another sun. 16 whatever. Well, not the sun, but the glint of a sun. But wait a minute, didn't we just see an object over there? Well, didn't we see an object at the North Pole a couple hours earlier? I guess that's the sun. I don't know. Let's go back over to the shortwave window band. I'm going to take you back to, let's see over here. Sorry about this. We're going to go to the shortwave window band here, actually. And there's that second sun, or the second sun signature, the second heat signature. I'm going to take it back to 0800 on August 3rd, if it'll let me, if I still have time. Okay, come on now. Tick, 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 tick. Okay, now see him? See him over there? That's the ob that's no, that's not the object that was related to the sixteen hundred. Okay, let's go to that was August third at eight hundred eight UTC. There's the sun up there, remember? He was showing the uh glint, the uh eclipse. Okay, come on now. See where okay, I saw the uh there we go, we're gonna zoom forward to August fourth. That was zero eight hundred August third, now we're gonna go to zero seven fifty actually. <coughs> there. On August fourth, zero seven fifty. I don't know if it's the same object, but it's a different signature from the sun that's causing the eclipse and the uh false signatures up there but okay 750 a.m. UTC 8 a.m. 810 820 830